Hey guys, Drew Gregory here with the River Bass and Tournament Trail. I'm also here with Chris Funk. He's uh, one of the anglers that fished the Tournament Trail. And, you know, we're here doing a little day of fun fishing and we caught a fish. We thought we'd make a quick video explaining exactly how to score your fish for the River Bass and Tournament Trail. It's very simple. Chris was fortunate to uh, make a few casts right here at the bridge. He caught a nice bass. He's put it on a fish grip for the meantime. Let's pull it out of the water. So it stays nice and healthy on that fish grip, which is perfectly legal. You don't want that grip in the photo though. You take it off the grip. Now his method, he's just gonna slide it on over right here. And I'll get some shots with my GoPro, showing it from this angle. And uh, he's gonna make sure the uh, front of the fish is touching the end of the board here. So right here, fish is definitely touching. You can see that. Okay, and now since the uh, front of the fish is touching the front of the board here, the bump, now he's going to position the tail the best he can, which looks like he's kind of got it as far as he can get it. You wanna, why don't we slide that tail around, Chris, see if there's, can you get anything else out of this fish? Uh, Just. You can see, may, he can, and you're allowed to do this. You can position that tail. You want to get the most out of your fish, the most possible. By that and little tiny swing, he might can I, get, I could get a legal 17 and a quarter right there if, if I can get that to show up in the picture. And now that he knows his fish is potentially 17 and a quarter, we're going to try to snap a photo that proves that. You don't want to short yourself. Uh, if you can't get it, then that's just one thing. So we'll uh, turn on the phone here. Any smartphone uh, should work. Uh, so now Chris has snapped his photo. He's locked it in. But before he's going to release the fish, uh, we might put it back on the fish grip. He might investigate the photo and see if he made sure he got one that accurately showed it at 17 and a quarter inches and he makes sure that the front of the fish is touching the board make sure his hand as you can see here is actually behind the eye you know he's got it just over the gill plate so it's not interfering uh, with us being able to judge the fish's nose and or, or lips on the front of the board and it's obviously not interfering with the tail so that's one thing we suggest so uh, you know if you know you got it you look at your phone real quick and you know you've got the photo then go ahead and release the fish Okay, now we're going to talk about a few wrong ways to measure the fish. We've put this fish back on the fish grips and made sure it got some air. Now we're going to look at uh, one wrong way, obviously, could be if the uh, front of the fish is not touching the end of the bump board. So you can clearly see that's wrong. If you take a photo and it looks like that, that's going to be uh, definitely a penalty. And you can check the rules online on riverbassontrail.com to see the exact penalty for all the infractions that you could do when photographing your fish. Another thing you can do is you can have your hand over the eye. And uh, Chris's hand or ears too, it's just too much over the eye. So you want to have it behind basically the gill plate really. It's perfectly fine for your hand to be in the photo right in the middle. That's where you want it. Uh, another thing you could do is you could take a photo uh, with the head of the fish, the front of this bump board or the tail cut off. Okay, that's another possibility. You could, as Chris has here, you could forget your identifier. So if that's not in the photo, then that's not going to work either. So you got to have the identifier, don't forget, that's what shows the fish was caught this day and that, that way no one can cheat in these events in this particular way. And the other thing you could do is you could turn the, flip, uh, the fish the wrong direction, so you could turn it facing the right and upside down, exactly. So it's upside down here, so essentially that's wrong. And you could also turn it where the head is facing uh, the end of the board there, flop it over and that's not correct either. Again, this is all to make sure that no one is able to score the same fish twice, okay? It always has to be facing to the left. As you're looking down on the fish like Chris and I are, we can go ahead and spin it back over. The belly is facing south, if you will, towards you. Dorsal fins at the top. This really is not that hard, folks. Uh, another thing you don't want to do is have your hand inside the mouth anywhere or inside the gills. So keep your hand out of the gills and out of the mouth. That's also a penalty. Um, any other ways we can mess this up, Chris, or you know of that people have done? The only thing, don't make, make sure that your uh, identifier is not covering right. the, the furthest measurement because then you can't see it. Exactly. And then make sure you don't take photos from a crazy angle like this. See, we can't see if the fish is touching the front of the bump. And if your photo is over here, we can't see exactly you know, if it's touching or if it's not. And, and it's just difficult. So the, fit, the photo needs to be taken directly above. All right, so the whole concept of this is you know, catch, measure, photo, release. It's an eco-friendly style of scoring that we do on the River Bass and Tournament Trail. And you know, one thing you can do that I haven't mentioned is you can put them uh, a stringer, you know, on a stringer, but it, it just can't be a, a stringer that's going through their gills, which is going to damage the gills. You can pop it real through the little thin membrane underneath their mouth, and that's fine. It's safe. They eat crawfish and other uh, fish that have bones, and that actually gets punctured and, and it heals back real quick. So that's a spot to do it. And that way, if your fish jumps off the board, you can pull it right back in. That's happened to a lot of people. So make sure you know you can do that, or you can even leave the lure of the fish in its mouth as long as it's not 
you know, in, impeding our view of the front of that bump board. So keep those tips in mind. And then of course, get your fish back in the water like we've done here as quickly as possible. We're gonna let this guy go. Let's see here, he's gonna swim away nice and healthy, I'm sure. There it goes. All right, and in closing, now that we've let the fish go, you go back to your phone. The best thing to do is upload that photo immediately because tiebreakers are based on time and there's other prizes you can get you know, if you upload your photos during the day and it keeps the leaderboard as accurate as possible so that the fans back home can follow along and enjoy it as well. So congratulations on that good fish, Chris. You know, you always love it when you catch a fish right from the bridge. It sounds like it's gonna be a good day here. So let's get back on the water.